right, so welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So today, guys, we'll be live to discuss about what is the hardest position in football. So remember, guys, to like and subscribe. Also, comment up your thoughts, comment section below if you're watching the replay. And like I said, guys, let's hit that like button, man. Hit that like button. I expect to see us minimum at 15 likes. That should be the like target for today. Minimum should be 15. We should be really hit, re reaching 20 plus. I just want to reach at least 15 for today. So please hit that like button, guys. Hit that like button. All right. I also put the StreamYard link in the live chat. So if you guys want to come on and have your say, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, just remember, guys, that I will want to verify you. So if you are someone that I don't recognize, I will probably not add you in case, you know, you're a troll or a spam. Because like I said, we've had occasions in the past where, you know, trolls have come up and ruined the stream and I don't really want to go through that again. So I probably not will not add you if I don't recognize you. Okay. Anyways, let's go ahead and read some of your uh, messages in the chat. Um, because no one, we don't have a lot of people here right now, which is kind of unfortunate. Well, Gary Mappin says, I don't get why this is a debate. Every position is equal. Mm, I mean, is it really? I uh, is it really, guys? I'm just putting this out there. Like, is it really? Like, I don't really, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. All positions are important. You know, we're actually looking at what's the hardest position to play as, you know? And so I feel like for me, if you're looking at it from that point of view, every position is important. No one is saying it isn't. It's just that all positions are not hard. You know, some positions are much easier than others. Um, hello, uh, Ghana School says, hello, mate. Uh, St. Jose say goalkeeper is the hardest by far. Welcome Warrior says, everyone says goalkeeper because he takes the blame. Yeah, goalkeeper, man, it's it's very, very difficult to play goalkeeper. Like, you know, ah. Uh, I, it's very, very difficult. So I want to see what you guys are saying. Um, Lava King says sub chat. Yeah, we don't have any speakers on, unfortunately, right now, um, which is unfortunate. Maybe we'll get some more later on the stream. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, and, yeah, as I said, um, so... Let me see what you guys say in the chat. I play footy and I played everywhere but CDM's center back and goalkeeper. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. So um of the positions you have played Balkan, what would you say is the hardest? And maybe we'll put a poll in the chat. Um If it's a field position, it has to be a defensive position, like a center back or fullback. CDM can also make a case because to win tiles, you have to have a good defense. Exactly, man. They're like that's a good point. Like because the thing about the forwards is that you don't have as much defensive work compared to like midfield um, or center back. So it, it's difficult, man. Like this is why I think it's a great debate, you know, because there is no like straightforward answer. Like we could say goalkeeper, you can say fullback, you can even say center mid. You know, like I feel like for me, I and the center back as well. You know, um, so yeah, hardest one for me was fullback because of the running. Yeah, full running is very well. I mean, running is kind of for all positions to be fair, but I would imagine for fullback you'd have to want extra, extra more. Um, Balkan Warriors says striker is the easiest. Yeah, striker is the easiest, man. Like, like um, it, it's like. It's not that I from at all the position striker is probably the easiest. I would probably agree. So, all right. Um, so how many likes are on nine likes, guys? Let's try to get to like I said, guys. We need to hit, we should be hitting 15 likes minimum. So, yeah, where is everyone, man? Where's everyone? I thought the guys would be here, man. Okay, let's do a poll, guys. Let's do a poll. Let's do a poll. Let's 
do a poll, guys. Let's do a poll for like, um, have you ever played football? Let's do that poll, actually. Because I also think that's also important. Because if we haven't played football, it's very hard for us to comment, you know, especially us not playing those positions. So, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you can join now. Cool. This is an open one. Anyone can join. Anyone can join. This is an open debate. So anyone can join. You know, you know, anyone can join. So I put the link in the chat. So if you want to join. So. Yeah, yeah, cool. Just, uh, just join the link. I put the link in the chat. So go to the, um, the pin message there. It's right there, man. Rip Isley hit yes. I've never played. I was a goalkeeper. I was a midfielder once, so yes, I have. But it's easy to get injured as a striker. Yeah, I don't see you, Kule. Where are you? Um, where are you, man? I don't see the link. Okay, if you don't say it, I'll just send to you directly if, if that doesn't work. All right, I'll send to you on Twitter, I guess. Um, if that doesn't work. Or maybe I'll just send it again. Okay, you know what? I'll just send you on Discord, I guess. Okay, I was right back once. Oh, wow. All right, guys, we have hit 11 likes, guys. Let's go. Remember, guys, to hit the like button, guys. Hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. Subscribe if you're new. Okay. Uh, you guys probably hearing background noise. I need to do something with the computer. FB7 game says midfield. Ooh. All right. Thank you for joining FB7. I didn't think you would be here. All right. We finally have a guest here, guys. There we go. What's up, guys? What's up? Ready for the debate. Yeah. So, um, um, so today we're going to be debating what is the hardest position in football. So, if you guys want to join, hit that. Um, there's a pinned message there in the chat. Um, mm -hmm. It should work. Uh, otherwise, I'll just put a new one. Um, in fact, maybe maybe I should just put a new link. That position, the link doesn't seem to work. Um, so, well, what's going on? You don't hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Um, basically, we're discussing about the what's the hardest position in football. Mm -hmm. We need more guys in here, guys. Chat. Does anyone want to join? This is gonna be a very interesting debate. We're gonna look into every position. Yeah, and I don't know if a, I don't know if a lot of people have even done this debate before in general YouTube. So, so we, we need different opinion, different perspective. I already have my position on what I believe is the most difficult in football. Same. I'm more, Sebastian, what's most, up? More, most likely in when I play football, obviously I've finished. Uh, for, I'm not playing football anymore, but I watch it, obviously. Um, when I play, I play mostly the CM role, like 
No, I'm, I'm not going to compare myself to De Bruyne or Xavi or Iniesta, <laughs> but I, I play like that, like when I play. I was like the, like the, basically the playmaker. Plus I scored a wonderful goal, which I still remember. Such that's, nice that's crazy because I had the same thing. I played goalkeeper, defender, yeah, same here. Same here. And, 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 and even 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 striker. But the moment I played like midfield, central midfield, mm. that's when I know that this is the most difficult position you can ever try. Like it's, it's literally, you have to be perfect mm. in that position, in my opinion. I, I, I'm with um, Sebastian when it comes to, for me, midfield is the most difficult position a footballer sure. can take. For me, it was not really that difficult because I basically I knew basically what I was gonna do with the ball because I was like glued to the ball all the time because I had the ball like multiple times. Um, plus, I played goalkeeper once and it was stressful, but it was fun, you know. Like when you stand there, you're doing all the. I actually kept a clean sheet one game. I only played one game in goal, but. I kept clean shit at least. But then when I was playing with all the schoolmates, I played like garbage in goal. So uh -huh. basically it's maybe the other guy's fault, the classmates that I had, or I don't know. But uh, but for me, the hardest would probably be goalkeeper. Yeah, goalkeeper is pretty hard. Basically you have to do the work that defenders screws up. Like, Obviously, I watched the AK game today. Uh, uh -huh. like I won't probably comment because we lost, but like goalkeeping wise, it's so tough because if if you make a mistake, you're gonna get crucified for it. You're gonna get stick for it. You, people are gonna say, "Oh my God, you're such a bad goalkeeper." When it's the, like one. Mistake. Oh yeah, yeah. Especially one hundred percent correct. Yeah, but when it's the when you're like CM or attacker. Obviously, you're gonna get stick if you miss multiple chances. If you're a striker, obviously, but it it would not affect as much if you're a striker as you're a goalkeeper. So if you're a goalkeeper, like for example, I'm gonna. This is just an example. When when Adrian did a mistake for Atletico, he got a lot of stick for that. And then obviously you have seen with Nunes this season, for example, that. He has missed a lot, but he hasn't got really that. Uh, but Adrian got a little extra hate. hate you know, you know, hard. you know which midfielder got criticized like unfairly throughout his entire career. For me, it was Busquets. His, yeah. his lack of concept of what he offers on the pitch. For me, goalkeepers get criticized a lot, mm. but i've seen multiple um instances in football where goalkeepers are protected as well like for example ter Stegen for barcelona he can give you he can be fantastic in, in la liga but when it comes to big game high pressure performances in the champions league he does his very own mistakes and he's still protected they still deem him to be world class when when we really need him is in the cl so yeah for me yeah. and he, he, his lack of mentality and protecting the near post is what I criticize him. Like, if you saw the goal he scored against Rash, uh, that Rashford scored against him in the Europa League, that near post shot, any competent goalkeeper would save that. Yeah. Even though it was Alonso who was defended Rashford, a goalkeeper should definitely save that shot. Mm. So, for me, like, the, I've seen it as a goalkeeper are protected and so and they've been heavily criticized. But for me, midfield, the reason why I think midfield is the most difficult position is because the battle, the main battle you always want to win on a football pitch is midfield is the most crucial um, battle that you need to win. So if the midfield fails to to, to, to win the midfield ball, keep possession, generate chances, that's one of the most criticized positions in my opinion. i give you an example. Luka Modric, the moment Luka Modric has one one um, game that he doesn't dominate the midfield, he's one of the most heavily criticized online. Yeah. Uh, the same ones with Pick Barca. The moment we lost the midfield to, let's say, like a Bayern Munich, we, we've been criticized. Mm -hmm. Like for me, like the, the midfield is the one with the highest pressure, the highest responsibility. Of course, goalkeepers have high mm -hmm. responsibility, but you have to win the midfield battle. Yeah. 
Well, I want to say something in regards to the goalkeeper. Um, mm-hmm. Say knows that makes a great point. A lot of times mm-hmm. when defenders make mistakes, a lot of times goalkeeper has to like you know, um, you know, cover up for their mistakes the defenders make. You know, and a lot of times what happens is that goalkeeper it doesn't matter how good you are in the game. Goalkeeper can save like ten saves in the game, and if it makes one error, oh, everyone will forget about the saves he made in that game. Mm-hmm. And also when I played like sentiment, um, I I had one guy. Uh, like beside me in the midfield, who was like the guy who basically the Kante, he takes the ball, he tackles shot, he gives the ball. Like it was basically the Kante, and I was basically the Sidan or something because mm-hmm. I was that good. Uh, but you know, when I played goalkeeper, I I did have much to do when I played as a goalkeeper. Um, but I, I was legit, I was like calm, I knew what to do as a goalkeeper. Yeah. So, obviously, I have watched uh, football for a long time actually. Um, and I actually knew what goalkeepers did. Um, obviously, from watching great goalkeepers over the years, I know what to do in positions that. If you have like one v one, I knew what I knew what to do, because um, I obviously watched some great keepers in the uh, my time as watching football, obviously um, from AFK goalkeepers, goal goalkeepers, and the Premier League goalkeepers and all of that, and also Victor Valdez, uh, and yeah, it's. It's very difficult, as you say, Kua, being a sentiment. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. But especially if you have a CDM, you don't really have to worry because you have that guy who gets the ball back and maybe passes you the ball or calm down the play. Um, but it's, uh-huh. it's it's between. No, but two. I would I would say that I would add. CDM, CM, and both categories, both equally difficult. All of them share the same responsibility. Even even, uh, even central attacking midfielders? No, nah, attacking midfielders, no, that's a completely different concept and dynamic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 But they they hardly have, no, attacking midfielders hardly have any major responsibility. Yeah, yeah. They, they I will say this, though. Offensive. Yeah, I will say this, though. Um, I think the DM is a very, very hard. Like mm-hmm. I would say, it's slightly harder than CM. Mm-hmm. Um. So, and what about center backs, guys? Are we forgetting about center backs? That's also very hard. You have to have a lot of intelligence. Yeah, but, but but you know that's crazy. I think center backs get more criticized than, than actual goalkeepers because if a, go- a center back does a mistake, like give an example, Maguire. If Maguire makes a major mistake and the hair ends up conceding, you won't see anyone blaming the hair. They'll blame Maguire for that. Um. Yeah, um, well, do you remember? Um, do you remember when Sevilla scored against Man United? I think it was the second leg. Mm-hmm. There was a mix up De Gea and Maguire did. Mm-hmm. Do you remember who got more blame for that? Maguire. No, Maguire definitely got more blame. I was blaming Maguire for that one, not De Gea. I'm not gonna, bl- I'm not gonna compare myself to that. Like, so, but I basically because I when I played, I dropped back. Uh, few games like uh, so i could start attack like i was the uh, maldini basically oh my slap maldini slash Zlata. i brought the like the mentality just whenever i wasn't playing like was on the bench or something the team played much worse like i was the glue to the team basically right Basically, how Messi was to Barca, like I was the glue to the team. Like, uh, Busquets was our glue. Busquets was our glue. Yeah. Messi, Messi was Messi. I know yeah, yeah. Gets, I know Busquets get a lot of stake, but he has to be one of the best CDMs of all time. Oh yeah, yeah, that's obvious. That's on this. But uh, can I add mm-hmm. another point um, towards this argument? With uh, again with the center box, um, you have another another guy, Eric Garcia. You <laughs> know. <laughs> He's he's full of errors and mistakes, and the thing is like um 
hardly goalkeepers get blamed for uh incident that leads to one one like i'll give you an example you remember when pedri did that back pass and it gave us like it gave it left to check it in a 1v1 situation in la liga oh like, um horrible back pass was it against like celta vigo i think it was against celta and then touch chicken actually saved it um yeah. if that the chicken conceded from that near post right not 1v1 no one <laughs> would actually blame the chicken for that you know be, be, being a goalkeeper and center back could be hard if you have Maguire in the defense and uh, that you have to do much responsibilities. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, yeah, you know, you know, if you have Maguire in your team, I would never ever blame a goalkeeper. Let's say, let's say I'm the goalkeeper and you guys are the center back. I, I would trust you guys to do the job legit. Just like we kind of have that connection, but at the same time, you guys would know what to do. I would know what to do and I think if we three was in the goalkeeper center back, we would win the Champions League. No joking. Um, it's <laughs> no not that easy to say. True, but I think we would. Okay, Depends look. on how we would play, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Should we read the chat, guys? We haven't looked at the chat in a while. Yeah. Okay. Big up to the chat, by the way. I yeah, especially you know. because I don't see it. Where's the link? Um, okay, this, I think this is the last message I read. Uh, midfield. Uh, look at all the past UCL uh, and UCL winners are lifetime. They all had good de- goalkeeper and are good defense. You look at Chelsea. They had wait. What was Chelsea's uh, defense? Uh, what are which no, one no, are you talking no, about? No, 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 no. Kante, Kante was the crucial point. True. For Chelsea. No, I mean two thousand twenty-one. They still had a pretty good defense. Chelsea. Like, nah, no, 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 it was all Kante eighty. It was all Kante. Yeah. No, no, I, I, obviously, Kante was important, uh, you know, but I'm, I'm not saying that. Yeah, I'm was... literally telling you it was all Kante. The defense had nothing to do with that. The defense on, get... the okay, defense okay, Mendy was good that time, okay, guys? Mendy was good that time. Yeah, yeah. bro. AD, I'm going to give you an example. That, the they, had the same, they had the same defense when they faced Prime Bezema in who, that who the winning back? season. That same defense the... without Kante got absolutely destroyed. Who was the center back? Who was the center backs in that? Uh, it was I'm pretty sure it was Christensen and um yeah, was Silva and then um Rudiger. Yeah, that, it was the same defense and Kante was yeah. fit. Kante was actually finished after that UCL run. Kante wow. was the main reason why Chelsea won that Champions League. Like, there's literally like in the final against City. The admin of Manchester City said we need to find a way to stop Kante. That's the actual admin of the club. Okay, okay. That's how good Kante was. You know, not not the defense or the goalkeeper. And you know that you know the this globe that we live in, like seventy percent, is basically covered by Kante. Oh yeah, I understand. I'm, but what you, you're, I, I feel like you're trying to make it out that defense was crap. You know, like that. That's no, kind no, of- no, no. I'm saying, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's not a crap season, but I'm telling you that. The reason they actually were successful that season was solely because one guy Kante. It okay. was also Rich James. He was so key. Yeah, all of these guys played their part, but the main sure. main fan. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm no one. I, I don't think anyone's arguing that against that. It's just that they, like the defense was good. You know, now was no, it as good as like seventy percent Kante and they had a percentage. Yeah, right. very um, very because Kolek is here exactly. I'll join in fifteen minutes, eighty. All right, I'm gonna try to keep this to an hour long. By the way, guys, so. Uh, please keep in mind that we're not going to go over an hour that much. I mean, we, we may go over an hour, but it will be like hour and 10, hour and 15. We're not going to go too much over an hour. And guys, can I recommend something to the chat? Bro, go go rewatch Kante destroy Chris Modric and, 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 and Casemiro by himself. Like, go okay. rewatch that. That was an absolute one man army. Yeah, that yeah. might be like the best like individual performance. I've seen. Yeah, I've never seen that before in my life. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I would join by I'm working. Oh, man, it sucks. Maybe next time, man. Maybe next time. I'll let you chat like for AD. Booger Mappa says, um, Balka Wars says, Sebastian is pro footballer. Fuck those, fuck those. Uh, Nexus Leo says, hey. He says, nah, it's goalkeeper. Okay. Say so Jose is easily goalkeeper. It's not goalkeeper, Lava King. For real? Only player in the pitch that can make a mistake, it can be covered up, but goalkeeper error nine out of ten times is, is, is a goal. No, mm, but uh, the one that makes, makes the error, I always gets criticized. Usually, like um, the defender, like I'm actually make an argument that defenders get more criticized than, than goalkeeper. No, no, but the thing is, like, whenever goalkeepers make mistakes, usually, it, it usually it's not preventable. You know, mm-hmm. that's why, like, um, 
for both defense and goalkeeper, the margin of error is very, very small. Like, um, but yeah, like you hardly see the one the defense makes a mistake is the defense fault, the goalkeeper as well. Yeah, Lava King says, much. Look, Steven Jarrod slip cost them the game. It wasn't a goalkeeper that was in the spotlight. Well, that's only one example, though, you know. Did you, I just give you another one? Like, Pedri's back pass to Ter Stegen. That, that, that was actually led to a 1v1. Like, if it had Ter Stegen conceded at 1v1, no one would blame him. Well, I'll give you another example. Um, Sane's goal against Barcelona in the group stages, that long range shot. You're telling me Ter, that wasn't Ter Stegen's fault? No. That was his fault. Wait, who? The, the goal that Leroy Sane scored. Oh, so you're talking about that one. I thought you the Pedri thing. Nah, I mean, I'm not sure. That one, I, it's, 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 it's kind of hard to say. You could, I, I would say you could have done better. Uh, uh, the two goals we conceded at Anfield in the miraculous combat from Liverpool, both of those are to shake and mistakes, not defense. Yeah. And for so me, like, that, that, that's the big difference, bro, with goalkeepers. Like, uh, they hardly do anything on the pitch. You know, they're in their posi- set position. But, like, their job, their main um, attribute should always be mentality and focus. You never know what's going to happen. So, if you lose focus, if you crumble under the pressure, whilst you're a goalkeeper, I'm sorry, you're not that guy. Yeah. That defender is actually responsible of dealing with the attackers way more often. They have to actually go on 1v1 situations with their consistently with their attackers. If, um, like yeah, Araujo versus Vinicius, that's like a 50 50 deal. If Araujo yeah. fails, that then that leads to major, um, major um, damage. You know, this is a good debate. Like, um, you can see right here, guys, we're like none of we're all having our different opinions, you know. And this is what I like mm-hmm. about this debate is that it's very interesting as well. Hey, strikers, yeah, strikers can miss sitters, midfielders can miss and misplace passes, defenders can make mistakes if they can see they'll also be crucified. But if they make a mistake, it's up to the goalkeeper to cover it up. That's the thing. That's also another thing we, um, that's why another thing I want to say. I think I already said this earlier is that a lot of times goalkeeper has to deal with the mistakes made by the other players, not even their mistake. And if they concede, you know, they they still get blamed. Now, do they get as blamed as much as those players? Probably not, but they still get blamed, you know? Nah, nah. It has to be like, let's say like Toshige gives a bad pass to like the midfielder and to the defender. And that's a criticize criticizable offense. But if it's a midfield bad pass or a bad first touch from the center back, um, you know, that, that's all on the defender because that's where the error came from. Yeah. You know? The no, I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that I'm saying the goalkeeper still gets blamed. Now, I'm I don't think they'll get as blamed as much as the other players. You know, the goalkeeper will attempt to save it, but if it concedes, it's, it's clearly like the the, the odds is not, are not in the goalkeeper's favor. You know, the odds of that situation. So, um, the end of the day, I think I still stand with what I say. With goalkeepers that, of course. For me, they, they have been protected. I have seen it multiple times. A lot of goalkeepers have been protected. Like the only guy I actually saw got that like, his career ended because of a mistake was um Carius. Did you know? mm, Carius career got ended for one mistake. But we can make an argument that he got a concussion from Ramos um kneeing him in the face. But uh you know, the minor concussion is another story, but he uh, his career ended because of his mistakes. Yeah, that is true. <clears throat> yeah, um, but if, if if a goalkeeper makes a mistake, they'll get a nine. They'll nine point five out of ten get blamed for it. Yeah, Mashal says hi. Mashal says I don't think the goalkeeper's the hardest position. To me, the hardest is either or hardest is either center mid or wing back because it requires a lot of stamina and pace. You know, we yeah, haven't even yeah, talked about wing backs. I didn't even took that to account. Like midfield actually is the one that runs the most and covers the most spaces. What, what, what about what about full backs? Full backs? Hmm. Nah. Without full backs, have the least responsibility, man. Well, I feel like I kind of depend. Well, he's saying wing backs in particular, not full backs. Wing backs, even wing backs. Wing backs hardly even track back. Like, uh, the more they're like uh, overlapping attackers, you know. Um, they're gonna, of course, they're gonna try back, try to defend, but um, but they, 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 they have the least responsibility. They're most, they're least likely to make a major mistake. Least likely to be 
criticize. I think um for me, striker. Oh, striker is a good example. Like <laughs> if you have a, a like break Benzema back in the day when Benzema couldn't finish for his life, he used to get criticized heavily. Who else? Um, who else used to miss chances? Morata, offside merchant, Timo Werner. I never see a guy got criticized so much as Timo Werner. So, bro, like, I actually think strikers are actually the guys that actually get heavily, heavily criticized. Like, bro, it's actually crazy. I might actually lean more to striker. Striker and midfield might be the most difficult position. Mm. Uh-huh. All right, let's go read some mess in the chat. Um, exactly. Ooh, Radical 24 NFM says, I would say wingers on 352. They need insane stand up and be able to attack and defend. Mm. Wait, when you do when you wait, you mean the wing backs? Because they're uh-huh. not really wingers. Is there any yeah. more super chat? Uh, we don't have any super chats. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's super jet chats. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, there's a lot still. What do you what do you think, man? Wingers on a three five two specifically. Three five two. Yeah, it depends on the instructions. They required to track back. Of course, more responsibility is gonna be given to them. Yeah, um, the best example of three five two is Inter. Mm-hmm. And you saw how good um their winger uh, Gossens and I um, mean sorry um not Gossens who was that guy Demarco mm-hmm. was not fine a uh, final he was fantastic you know mm-hmm. that's so, crazy yeah although Dumfries wasn't really good <laughs> but mm-hmm. we're not really surprised so Dumfries Dumfries <laughs> yeah yeah wingers is a good shout like I said it's a very difficult man it's not very straightforward. If you ask me what's the hardest position, I'll obviously say the bench. It is the hardest to accept. What? <laughs> that is to accept. You know, that is kind of well, that is kind of a fair point, but we're it not depends we're on who you are. It depends on who you are. If you're an academy, you you know, getting bench, getting a little minutes, you can't complain. But if you're like a, a veteran and you you're past your prime, it's gonna be difficult to accept the bench. Yeah. I guess a good example of that would be like Ronaldo in the World Cup. Mm. How about this? I'm gonna give you the hardest position, not in on not on the field, but off the field. The hardest position is being a manager. That's manager. Definitely. That's another good point. Definitely a manager. Like the pressure you get from the media, the pressure you get from the club, the the, the players. news, players leaving, players arguments, dressing room tense intensity and you have to motivate the players every minute to believe in what you're trying to instill into them um training tactics uh what else yeah nutrition is you know psychology all of these things play into account and the manager and his staff have to be very crucial and if you fail in any aspect then the pressure always leads to you it's unbearable i'll give you like xavi even said it himself one season at Barcelona feels like an eternity because of the pressure. Like, it's, it's, it's unbearable. Yeah, okay. I see someone join, so I, I don't really know. Th- I don't think I've seen this person before, so ZDR. Um, I mean, yeah. Let me yeah, see. Just be careful in case. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to I'm not gonna add you if I don't know you. So, um, okay, let me just ask ZDR. What's your name in the So, yeah, have you chatted on this stream before? Uh, All right, where was I? Okay, he says yes. Oh, I'm Kurt. Um, Kurt, I'm not sure. Mm. Oh, uh, Try, let's see. maybe let's just see what he has to say. Bring him on. Yeah. Oh, man. Hopefully this doesn't backfire. <laughs> Shoot. What happened? Ah, fudge. What happened? He showed something inappropriate. I didn't even see anything. I just banned it immediately. Uh... Ah. 
<laughs> um, the risk taking. Wait, where did he post the link though? I put in the live chat. Uh, well, I uh, I don't know. We're gonna. I'll try to remove or something. Hold on. Dang it. Okay, I'm not gonna add more any more people. I'll probably just delete the link. I should have not added him, to be honest. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, so we canceled the stream and started it over? Mm. I didn't see anything, though. I think you actually moved pretty quick. Yeah. Let me review it. I don't think we're going to delete it. And if YouTube contacts me, I'll just say, uh, um, I'll just try to trim it out or something later. <laughs> let's just carry on the show must go on ladies and gentlemen the show must go on <laughs> yeah okay um, and no one even noticed in the chat i don't think uh -huh. okay anyways is either center made is hard in the cdm i play goalkeeper so i'm biased towards saying goalkeeper is the hardest position uh -huh. okay uh, center mid is important attacking face of defending. See, it's midfield. McGuire is uh, Jinx and Man United. Different grade with Stone and Zip Pickford. Halo. I'd say oh, CMs. Yeah. What are we saying? What are you saying? We need more. Give me your opinions. Why do you think that goalkeeper is the most difficult? Oh, by the way, ZDR, you're getting banned. Oh, dang it. And I'm also reporting you. That's really crazy, man. Yeah, having a player like Maguire makes goalkeeping 10 times hard, harder. Yeah, that's true. Who is forgetting Rudiger Thiago Silmendi was also one of the best goalkeepers in 2021. Lies, 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 lies. Mendy, one season wonder. Yes, yeah, a CDM. Does it do? Oh, wow. <laughs> um, okay. Young boy, second goal versus United, 2021, 2022, to be fair. Um, yeah, I just, you... I just reviewed the stream. I went back. Nothing was shown. Really? Yeah, I just went back and checked. I thought something was shown. No, it seems like there was a massive delay when it comes to entering someone. You moved actually pretty quick. Oh. Mm -hmm. So that yeah. was displayed. Okay, well, I guess that's good. But yeah, this is why I say, guys, I don't want to. I don't want to add you guys if I don't know you. Okay, mm -hmm. this is why I, I. This is why I'm reluctant to do so. You know. So if you if you want to get the, the the access, you know you gotta go on Discord and meet on VC, yeah. Yeah. That's the only way, cause some of these guys are here, they're sick in the head. So um, back to the debate. The Bastion, what are you hiding, bro? <laughs> uh, I was cooking. I was cooking. Well, you, you went and uh, started to hide. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Um, how did I, so basically on Streamyard you can click on the message. That's how you guys. Your chats are being shown here. Yeah, Fulbrook Warhearts and Talagers, to be honest. Uh, a wing back is usually expected to cover a whole width. Bulgarian map is O. A huge portion of a goalkeeper's job depends on how the team midfield spans out the opposition defense dominance while a CDM gets run over. The whole team deteriorates. I think the hardest position um, is the ball boy. If they're late to pass the ball, they will get destroyed by a player like Hazard. And you are banned. And... What does it or is it or do? Smoke. <laughs> wow. It, it, wow. It's because I don't have a microphone. That's why. But if I can get the microphone, then it will be much better. So yeah, I would not hear you good though. Can you hear me well? But yeah. Yeah, like I have no good. issue. Like your song is your mic is pretty good right now. Yeah. Mm, but it's if I can get a microphone, then I could people could hear me better, like the comments and all this kind of stuff. So, yeah, I don't know when I will get it. So, 
after timing the timing stuff work off the stream later so i also do it while i wasn't there plus i gave you time alone because you eddie what well, were you in discord last night when we were debating um who's better xavi or, or zidane no, I, I, I think I, no, I didn't really use the score much last night. I should have been there. We, we, we hit a breakthrough. Shabby might be clear. Yeah. Anyways, um, so, so let me ask you guys this question. Okay, so let's do this, guys. So, what about center backs? As much as you muted. The center backs. Yeah, what about center backs, guys, or wingers? We haven't discussed wingers. Hey, can we do? Can we rank them? Can we rank them from difficult to least difficult? Yeah. All right. So, uh, should I start? Yeah. All right. So I say number one difficult position is midfield. Number two is um is striker, and number three might be goalkeeper. Number four center back. And uh, let's see. And then the last one will we'll add the wingers, you know. And um, the center back, uh, alpha, full fullbacks, and, and center backs are the same category. Well, what do you guys think? Ooh. Yeah. See, the argument against goalkeepers that they don't have to run as much compared to other positions, you know. And well, the thing for me, though, that makes goalkeeper hard is the reflex saves. You have to be tall. You have to make those kind of saves, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very difficult. You have to be athletic as well. So Yeah, I, I know Kepa gets criticized a lot for his inability to save long shots. Yeah, Kepa is a pretty short goalkeeper. But he's fantastic when it comes to penalty saves. It's a very mix, it's mixed feelings with, with that one. Yeah. Well, what are you saying, Sebastian? What, what's your... But um, give me a um, num uh, list of difficult to least difficult position. I'm looking for. I, I have zero clue what you were asking, but I, I guess I would agree with you. Um, I don't really. Could, could ask yeah, the boss is last. AD, what's your what's your least difficult to difficult position? Hmm. Least difficult. This is tough. Maybe the wingers. Maybe. Uh, what well, what does the chat say? What do they think? Give me the top five difficult positions in in the football page, guys, in the chat. Yeah. So how many positions there are? We got goalkeeper, we got the center backs, full backs, then we got CDM. wingers, the CDM. striker, CDM cams. Yeah. You guys, you guys make the top five most difficult positions. I'm very curious to see the guys' list. Okay. Center back's probably the hardest. Ooh, he's difficult. Plus one. Striker, in my opinion. So it is almost every other position low. This goalkeeper position takes skill to master. And so does every other skill. Yeah, everyone has their very own craft and technique. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's hard to say. Hmm. Let's see, man. Well. Very difficult, you know. I'm 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 in an internal debate, like between striker and midfield, because these two positions are the most criticized, in my opinion. The striker misses, toppings misses, 
and key opportunities. They get absolutely slandered, destroyed. You know, they get clowned upon. Oh my God, ZDR two. You, uh, you are, you are so. I'm, I'm, I'm done with you. What did he do? He created an alt account and now wants to join back. Mm. Hey, I'm done. You're getting, you're getting another ban. <laughs> he didn't say anything bad though. Nah, he tried to post, he tried to show something on live stream, so Eddie kicked him out before anything was revealed. Yeah, this is what this is why I always say, guys. That this this is kind of the one of the reasons why I don't really like doing the link stuff, you know. Yeah, you should only invite those who you confidently know are interested in. Yeah, yeah, and I and I did I did ask like, who are you? And obviously, you lied. So. I think yeah. maybe I'll do this. I'll have the link, but I, like if I don't know, I won't add you on. Maybe I'll do that from now on. Plus, you knew, you know who we are, so you know me, you know Kule. Obviously, yeah. Kule is easy to know because he talks most likely the most in the stream. No, no disrespect, but you talk yeah, more. But I, I'm, I'm spitting fuck. Chat, let him know, bro. I'm spitting True. fuck. I'm not like I'm not like Sebastian trying to convince guys I'm world class in football. You know? No, you are world class. You're better than. The likes of Ronaldinho, Zidane, F, or F, or F, or F. <laughs> you're tweaking, you're tweaking. <laughs> okay, anyways, anyways, getting back to the topic here, guys. Yeah, what well, was what are we saying, chat? All right, let's go ahead and do let's go and do a poll, guys, like the hardest. So which position? So we can have like four positions in the poll. All right, so let's put um, goalkeeper, defender, striker, and midfield. Okay. Goalkeeper. Uh, okay. Midfielder. CM slash yeah. CDM. Mm -hmm. And then center back. And then striker. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Which is yeah. Put put striker. Let let guys decide what they think is difficult. Okay. I'll say forward at players. Or maybe we could what about fullbacks? But I still I still think fullbacks isn't all that difficult, man. What do you think, Sebastian? Maybe, maybe. If you're a, a defender who can't defend uh, uh, Garcia. Uh, um, okay, I'll just put center backs and fullbacks since they kind of yeah. go together. <laughs> Shout out, um, shout out, um, what's the name of that guy that plays for Liverpool? The English no, don't guy. disrespect the best right back in the shout, whole shout world. Out Trent, don't shout out, Trent. Don't disrespect, don't disrespect Trent. It, and and he, finish, finish Van Dyke. Trent, Trent with an inverted CM, uh, right back, right mid, right wing back CM, inverted. He, mm -hmm. he cooks every, every team in the world, every team. Everything. So, next season or this season, Trent is going to so, get so Trent, Trent becoming a, a midfielder. Is that it? Twenty assist. Trent is going to get twenty plus assist this upcoming season. So he's a midfielder now, not not a fullback. No, I said inverted midfield, inverted right back. So right back. See, why, why can't he play his natural position as the right? Okay, back? guys. So I put the poll out there, guys. So most of you guys going with center mids. Midfielders, okay, seventy-one percent. We gonna steal around. Yeah, streets, streets, no ball, streets, no ball. So, since everyone agrees in the chat with center mid, I guess I'll go with center mid as the most complicated and difficult. To be position. fair, we're gonna steal Araujo in a few years to Anfield. So that's yeah. Okay. We have a billion in your bank account. Yeah, yeah we do. Twenty twenty-six when FSG leaves. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. As long as you give us the one billion dollars. Wait, how old is Arajo? 26? 25? What? All right, guys, let's re let's read some of the comments. Ara Arajo is 20. What? How old is Arajo? 80? Uh, I don't actually know the top of my head. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Well, hey, Matt, stop it. Reed James. He's no in he's, he's 24. He's 24. Kyle Walker <laughs> is no in a trend that minute. He's about to hit his prime, Araujo. Next the season. Trippier may be better than Trent, but not Walker and James at the minute. All right, so what does the chat say? Sly is going to be the best transfer this upcoming summer. Okay. 
Uh, goalkeeper position takes skill to master. Mm -hmm. Uh, wait, actually, where was I? Yeah, that's what uh, I said. Can, so does most of every position. Yeah. Uh, can I can I ask you a question, which is relevant to the topic? Um, probably later. Um, uh, maybe not on the stream. Just send me on like Twitter or direct Discord. Um, not for the stream. Maybe next time. Ask, they don't ask. We have time. Okay. Uh, ask uh, away. Uh, I'll answer it if AD doesn't want to answer. Okay. So there's almost every other position level. Least difficult to strike, in my opinion. Plus one. Center back's probably the hardest. Full. Uh, shower, yes. But in particular, the goalkeeper in position takes the most determination. You can be either shot stop or do nothing the whole 90 minutes. Bruh. Well, at least you control who comes in. Yeah, that's true. But Strader says, hey there. Mm -hmm. why, why, why do you go after criticism for defending the hardest position? Is there purely basing it on the intelligence and skill set required to excel? Mm, that is for true. Like... <clears throat> It takes a lot of um, intelligence to play the center mid. Uh -huh. You know, I'm not saying goalkeeper. You, you, you know, the smart people can't play goalkeeper. I'm not trying to imply that. You know, no, 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 the thing is, goalkeeper. Your job is to predict where the guy is going to take the shot. You know, it's about. Oh, you know, you know, we haven't even discussed this on stream. Penalty saving, saving penalties. I, I can't save a penalty, bro. I think anyone can save a penalty if you're lucky enough to guess where it's going to be. I think it's about mentality. The goalkeeper, I give any Emmy Martinez know how to um, get the attackers very nervous with their penalties. But I don't think penalties are difficult, man. I, I might say something controversial, but in my opinion, I think Ochoa is the better penalty saver than Ter Stegen. Yeah, Ter Stegen is a good at penalty saves. That's not even a bad thing. I agree with you. Mm, yeah. Uh, Billy Rivia, sorry. If you're going after concentration determination, there's a single lapse or a CDM can mess up the whole game. Yeah. I think goalkeeper is the most unique. Trent is nowhere near the best right back of the world. Walker, Trippier, and James, English right backs. Gonna be funny with Liverpool rocking with three offensive moves, expecting Trent to defend. The system inevitably fails. Trent's mm -hmm. a better mid player, but James is the best right back. It's made for easy. Uh, Shoba's like can't crack 15 goals post consistently league or score 30 goals. That guy isn't doing anything. Bro, Vegorst is a striker plus he's a horse. So he's on awful. He's in that horse power. I re respect Vegorst, man. He scored a brace, guys. He no, missed he missed he missed that 1v1 with Ter Stegen, by the way. Jose Lu will score more goals than Vegorst this season. Saying it now. Plus uh, who? <laughs> Jose Lu. All right, guys. So we have our winner, guys. Midfielder has won. CM or CDM? Now, actually, I want to do another poll. Which one's harder? CM or CDM? Yeah, yeah, I won the debate. Which is harder? CDM? Mm -hmm. Or CM? CDM or yeah. CM? Now, this will be interesting. <laughs> That's difficult. This is difficult, guys. I'm keen to see for this one. And this is probably the last thing for today. Bro, it has to be CDM, guys. Bro, CDM gets the most stick out of midfield, bro. Like one little mistake, bro. They they get heavily criticized. The pressure is always on the CDM. Oh, guys, what I might do is this: after the stream is done, I might make it unlisted, and then I'll remove that thing, and then I'll put it back public. So, because <sighs> I really don't want to delete the stream, man. Yeah, you can just uh, either cut it up, but I'm pretty sure I, I didn't see anything, to be sure. Yeah. Let's see. I'm going I'm to I'm pick CDM. CDM has a bigger response to box-to-box. -box. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's a pretty tight pull. I'm not going to lie. He can't get in position, neither score, than neither chances when given. Fam, have you seen Wagos for United? Yeah, CM is looking like there's winning. It's Although it's close, though, it's 58%. CM is can control the rhythm of the games. My point is that what does it get in a serious league? Almost every Man City player flops. If Shoba's like, can't correct 15, what's going to do in the Prem? That is kind of oh, that is. I mean, 
I mean, we've seen how um, what's it called? Y'all, Sancho has been like in the Premier League. He's been a, he's not been good. Yeah, I think the um, the Bundesliga players flopping in the Premier League are mainly to their incompetent clubs and managers. Sancho falls into that category as well because John Sir, Sancho was a good player. Was uh, yeah, because City is well run and has a world class manager. That's why you have the guys of Gundogan and um, striving. <sighs> So, yeah, it looks like center mid is winning 67%. Yeah. So, center mid is the hardest position in football. All right. So, I guess we have our poll to decide, guys. So, um, we, you know, it's been a good stream, guys. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy um, the stream. And, yeah, like I said, guys, I'll, what I'll probably do is this, guys. So, I'll probably uh, give me a few minutes after the stream is done. I'll try to remove that. I'll try to like block it or something or like put a cover over it, like blur it out. And then um, I'll probably just uh, remove that thing. Uh, then I'll probably make it public for you guys. So, because I really don't want to delete the stream and hopefully um, everything's fixed. So, yeah. All right. Now you can ask your controversial question, I guess. Uh, how is Andrew getting outperformed by ac academy players just breaking to the team and the club on manager? Big lad and MBK to low. I still think center made wing backs the hardest. What happened, bro? So, all right, ask your question, Shawara, uh, and then we're going to end the stream. Bruh. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to ask that question. Answer that question. And I'm going to have to delete that question. Sorry. I'm not going to answer that question. I should have known, man. I should have known. All right. Uh, we're going to, I'll, I'll, I'll we'll, we'll be here for a few minutes. Uh, then we're going to end the stream in an hour, hour, one first minute. So, yeah, Sebastian, what's your final thoughts? All right, I guess we're going to end the stream here, guys. So we're going to be ending the stream in a couple of minutes. So any last couple of things football-related that's related to this? And Matt Jones says, what's going on? I really don't know, man, what's going on. Now, what happened, bro? I'll explain later, guys. I'll explain. Well, basically what happened is that someone came on um, and had a profile picture. I was inappropriate, and I took them out. That's basically what happened. And so what I'm going to do is probably after the stream is done, I'll probably just uh, remove that part or blur it out or something. I like my picture, though. Yeah. At least the guy didn't turn the camera on because, dude, that would make it even worse. So thank God that didn't happen. Because if he probably turned the camera on, I would probably have to, have to delete the stream. Do, do you see who Mbappe is looking at? He is looking at the rat. So he's looking at himself. Because, wow. you know, what he's doing to PSG. All right. So, yeah. Like I said, guys. Anyways, it's time for me to end the stream here. So, thank you guys for watching. Remember, guys, to like and subscribe. Uh, we reached 16 likes. Um, I may have to take a picture of this because sometimes my likes may get removed. So, let me take a picture real quick before I end. Uh, 
So, yeah, we got 16 likes. So, guys, like and subscribe. And who knows? We may possibly do a member stream maybe 10 or 15 minutes after the stream ends. Possibly. So, if you want to become a member, please click that join button for only 99 cents per month, guys. And we'll do some fun trivia stuff there. You know, gaming stuff, you know, football manager, FIFA maybe. Who knows? That goes on and on. And, yeah, I will try to do a member stream after uh, maybe an hour's time or something, you know. But, yeah, like I said, guys, it's only a dollar per month. So, hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Remember, guys, like and subscribe. Turn on notification bell to be notified. Check out the uh, platform description below. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.